more than 40 years, Nellie McCoy has spent her days counting. But she doesn't work at a bank as you may imagine. She's adding up the number of mosquitoes invading our islands. She's part of the Mosquito Research and Control Unit, a place where the work is pouring in as the rainy season starts. From night to <laughs> I dream about counting mosquitoes, listening to the clicker going. <laughs> she clicked her way to a world record. Back in 1974, she counted 793,103 mosquitoes found in a light trap in one night. That was a long day. I think it probably took us more than a day to count it, but um, it was very interesting. We have Aedes stenorhynchus, Anopheles grabamai, Albuminus, Crucian, Culex, Negropalpus, Iolandus, Fatian, and um, the Cancer. We have several different species. Sounds like a foreign language, but it makes sense to McCoy and her co-worker, who has served a 27-year-long stint. At first, they used magnifying glasses to determine the different species. Now they know the pesky bugs by the naked eye. He's catching up to you? I don't believe she can. <laughs> After <laughs> going 41 years, and she's only 27, so I thought her how to identify you know, mosquito, and she, doing, she does a good job of it. Some of their samples are tested next door in the lab. In the past, we found dengue samples. Uh, we fire, we look at dengue, West Nile virus. Uh, we are capable of doing malaria, but we, we've not had any samples come in suspected of that. And, uh, we, we have found dengue positive samples in the past, yeah. Always from overseas travelers. It's an early warning system for us. It means we can respond within 24 hours by treating an area of insecticide. When workers treat the area and when they conduct daily duties, the MRCU is eco-friendly. In terms of being environmentally conscious, I think we're the only mosquito control organization in the world that's capable of running its own pesticide analysis uh, to look at its, the, the fate of its chemicals in the environment. We can now test any chemicals that suppliers send to us. But the main reason the laboratory was set up was to monitor the fate of our pesticides in the environment. We like to ensure that we're not contaminating the environment. There's no buildup of our chemicals in water or on leaves in soil. So we now have the capability to analyse water samples, air samples or any other environmental sample from the field and analyse it for pesticide residues. Our main concern has been groundwater and we've not found any evidence of our pesticides building up in, in groundwater. Operations are carried out on land and in the air. Pilots combat the nuisance population, the dense amount of bugs breeding in the swamps and spreading across Cayman at night. We do a full treatment of the island. We're doing around 16,000 acres is what we're treating. We do uh, adult side, which is liquid spraying, and we, and we also distribute granules by air which is larvicide granules which are placed in the breeding areas. After Hurricane Ivan, our, our um, two aeroplanes that we were operating at that time were, um, were written off and um, we bought these two new aeroplanes. They, they have different engines. The big advantage of them is that we can wash them uh, internally so we can keep the salt off them and hopefully they'll last for many years. Ground crews mostly concentrate on the 80s aegypti, the mosquito that transmits dengue fever. Because they're high urban areas, we have a lot of uh, containers that, that collect water and we do a lot of control within the yards to control those particular types of mosquito. It's uh, not a swamp mosquito, it's a container breeder. If you looked at just simple containers like buckets and drums, that sort of thing, about 80% of the breeding is in, in those containers. And that's something certainly the public can help us with. If they turned over the containers, we wouldn't have to keep on going back and retreating and turning them over for people. It's interesting because if you looked at Georgetown and West Bay, which would be the potential for transmission of dengue because of the highly populated areas in which these mosquitoes are, I think it's only really about 20% of those yards that are in those areas that are, are really breeding ferociously. It really wouldn't take much from the population to help us out, and we do try and get the message out that they can. Because the MRCU attacks the problem from all angles, the number of McCoy counts continues to go down. This is why sometimes people will call in and say, oh, the mosquito is so bad. They, you know, comparing it to years ago. And we just laugh because we know different, because we have the trap in front of us, and 
salting them every day. So we know different. So we know it's not true. For more information on how you can help control the mosquito population, just contact the MRCU on 949-2557. That number again is 949-2557.